What up, what up, what up, what up? This your boy, Comedic Energy, and this is Dirty Mouth Radio. Dirty Mouth Radio, produced by Livewire Sound and Entertainment. It's your girl, Golden. It's your boy, Corey, <laughs> <Cole, it's> good. <laughs> Gone for a minute, but we back with the jump off, right? So what's poppin', man? What's poppin'? What's going on? Shit, same old, same old, same old. What y'all been up to? Nothing. Huh? Nothing exciting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So I posted something on the page uh, yesterday. Did y'all see that? Of course not. <laughs> I, uh, posted, <laughs> I posted about the, um, did y'all see about that Texas state representative that talked about how he wanted to uh, amend somebody else's bill or something and wanted to include hanging? Like, <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. You got to watch this thing. Because <laughs> they were talking about pretty much the death penalty, right? And mm-hmm. one of it's, the clip started with one of the lawmakers talking about, would you shoot the person in the head or shoot the person in the chest? And as they're going back and forth, this other representative, a Republican state representative, he literally said, I, I want to amend the bill and include hangings and lynchings in that bill as also um, part of the death penalty. And one, the, the one that said it, of course, was white, and the other guy was black. And he just threw the mic away. He was he was done talking. So at the end of the whole thing, he started talking. The guy, of course, tried to issue an apology and all this other bullshit. But he was trying to, his argument was, he was trying to say that he felt the impact of the families that were, you know, impacted by the person that may be on death, penalty, on death row. So he's saying... In these times, the, the the penalty must match what the crime was. And I was just like, are you fucking serious? Like, this motherfucker really just said this shit, given the whole history of what we've been through. So they're trying to make this motherfucker resign. And you got the um, the um, Tennessee NAACP, you know, everybody sounding out about it. Nothing's probably going to happen to this person. But... I just, I, I just wanted y'all to to think about that. Like, first of all, we still got because he was an older dude, of course. We still got old motherfuckers in the still talking about this bullshit. But second of all, we still dealing with just blatant racism. You know, it ain't even hidden. It's not you know coded it's none of that it's still blatant in your face and how do these people still get to keep their jobs i just don't understand that i was just like yo you you got to be kidding me well first of all if you if you want the crime to match the punishment why don't you do to the person what they did to the other person how about that so I for an eye like told him a Robbie. Mm-hmm. Well that's what that's what he said. I don't I don't believe that should be done, but if that's the case, then that's the logic you should go with because how is how is um let's say an active shooter, how is that the same thing if he get lynched? Mm. I have no clue. I have no clue. I felt like that was just blatant racism on his part. He probably wouldn't even think it. I'm just like, yeah, he really wasn't thinking. He probably was thinking more of us gonna be getting hanged instead of his own um, nephews. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't see how it could be like racism if it's like across the board for everybody. But <clears throat> beyond that, it's I don't know. I think it's a dumb. It's it's dumb. It's a dumb subject to even have to really like. <laughs> vote on this shit because it's like, I mean, like, if you're just going to kill the, if you're going to kill the person, just kill them and just get over with. Like, why right. drag it out? Why right. drag it out? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we really searching for? Like, 
like a le- watching somebody get electrocuted or getting somebody hanged is not gonna make me feel better just because they did something vile. Like, if anything, it's gonna make it worse because now not only do I have to deal with the person that you killed dying, now I have to deal with watching you. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you get sleep at night from that shit? Yeah, that's two types of like really trauma that you're about to deal with. But you know, but you know so yeah, it's like COVID you know, and rage. And my you thing is my thing is this like it's like all of these little micro issues that's going on in this country and we're not looking at the macro problem going on in the world you know what I'm saying like we got all of these little hidden arguments and battles and shit that's going on with like <clears throat> social ethics and, and judicial courts and all of this shit, but we're not really paying attention to how fast not only this country, but this world is just like <clears throat> dismantling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like all the things that's going on, and we just over here talking about how we can kill more people in the worst ways, or like how we can arrest more people and shit like that. Like we're not paying attention to the evolution or de evolution of. of humanity you know what i'm saying I so see. like my question is like what are people really like focused on because we getting paid <laughs> our money is worth less and it's getting less and less and less work um as far as like our power standing in the in the world as far as the united states power is concerned we're losing grips of that we're losing our grip on the economy, um, cause inflation's out of control and shit. Uh, black people are getting killed by the police still, <laughs> even after we protest and do all of this crazy shit. You know, if not, we're being even more targeted, even in a professional class. You know, now you got professional blacks getting killed, like entrepreneurs and rappers and people who are making money. You know what I'm saying? People who are financially actually of stature. You know getting murdered <laughs> you know what i'm saying and that ain't nothing new neither like that's it, that's what block keep, wall street pretty much was and it just keeps getting worse and it's like what do we have to do to like really focus you know what i'm saying yeah. like what do we have to do like education is not preparing us for survival yeah. you know at, at one point in time the school system kind of taught a little bit of survival you know, I guess back before our parents and stuff like that, they had classes about survival tactics and different shit, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But nowadays, we're not even learning how to, we don't even know how to learn. Yeah. Much less are we learning about things that are going to help us in the future to come. Because what people don't realize is that by the time that the kids is like five years old right now, by the time they get like 30, ain't nobody going to own their own home because banks is buying up homes. You know what I'm saying? You got banks buying up um, developments, dog. You know what I'm saying? For rentals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this type of stuff is happening. Like, what what do you do when you don't have control over, like, how you make money anymore? Or if you can even make money? Because we all know that properties and um, real estate is, like, the quickest growing uh, uh, um, income boost, you know what I'm saying, for the majority of people who own their own homes and stuff. Yeah. What are you, what are your children going, like, y'all niggas are focused on y'all life. Mm-hmm. Y'all focus on, I'm 30 years old, he 40 years old, we focusing on our future and shit, but we don't give a fuck about these 12 year old and, you know, these tw- these these 18 year olds on down, mm-hmm. you know? We only focusing on our problems and shit. You know, I... Small shit that that has nothing to do with what the real problem is right now. It's a bunch of small shit. It's like, why are we not helping each other build, dog? Like, we still fighting each other about color and shit. That shit is old. You know what I'm saying? That shit is like... You know what I'm saying? When do you see dogs fight each other because one is black and one is brown? This is dumb. Like, we're not in the ages where we sniff each other's butts and then we just start wrecking on the lawn and shit. Like, come on, dog. Mm-hmm. Like, we can't do anything as a human race to build ourselves up. 
all we can do is deconstruct what anybody else tries to promote that's going to help us. Mm. Damn. You know what I'm saying? How do y'all feel about that shit? Mm. That shit crazy, man. I don't know, man. Like I said in another episode, that the state of the economy, man, it's, it's in question. It going downhill. Mm. What do you think, go? Like we we um I think <laughs> well Craig said a lot. So I feel like as far as the racism and helping one of the, the white race wants to remain on top in this country. Yeah. So I don't see there being any unity anytime soon mm-hmm. because they know that everything comes from us. Yeah. And they just want to capitalize on that and, and keep their foot on our neck. So I don't see anytime soon we come into a kumbaya. Mm-hmm. Um like we said in podcasts before, they'll give us uh symbolism, but no no real no real change, no real power. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Just, Go ahead. I kinda like I kinda just just to kind of piggyback off of that, like what you said um about it's like as far as the uh you know <clears throat> the alternative race trying to stay, you know, on, on top in our country. I believe like to a very significant standpoint, it's our fault too. Like a lot, a lot of it is our fault because we keep participating in the same programs and the same industries and the same processes that's going that keeps us, you know, illegitimate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all can hear me still. Yeah, yeah, I understand. We, what? We, we keep participating in like these government programs and we keep trying to get into like the basketball fields and we keep trying to participate in rap music and all of these fucking things that just illegitimize, you know what I'm saying? It, it makes us illegitimate. Like there's not enough of us in these industries with enough power to actually make decisions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when we yeah. get in there, it's like, y'all niggas work, y- uh, excuse my language, but y'all work for us. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't have any say so and if y'all do think y'all have some say so you know we, we can see how far that goes you know we can take it to the court and if we do take it to the court and we feel like y'all about to win then we'll throw some crazy stuff out there to just dilute your whole entire character and assassinate your whole appearance and then you know turn your own people against you because if you don't have the backing of your own people we ain't backing you so then what yeah. Now you gotta do what we want you to do because you need our backing because we're the only ones who can get your people back. Ain't that some crazy stuff? So yeah. So to piggyback off of that, I kind of I get what you're gonna say, saying with that because I feel like that's kind of what they did to Kanye. Yeah. But um, I mean, I, I see they had to come crawling back, but yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because let you start using because we all know that it's hard as hell to try to make a living without no money in this country. Mm-hmm. In any country, really. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you try to do, it costs money. Like, I tried to do the whole thing with, like, you know, not using money, and you get a little bit... <laughs> what? <laughs> you, start realizing, <laughs> you start realizing quick, like, yo, everything you do requires you to use these these, these paper these paper uh Ticket. I was. Can you elaborate on the things that you did to try to not spend money? Man, like just trying to like find deals and you know trying to minimize how much you go out and trying to minimize what you do and how often you do it. And, oh, okay. You know, I thought you were trying to live like the Amish. You, you, yeah. you know, trying to trying to have trying to have fun while you know. Which, yeah. I mean, if you live like the Amish, that's that's one thing. But you still need bread because you got to. Right. If you're gonna grow food, yeah. you still have to buy the seed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it's not like you're gonna go outside in the woods and just find some seed, bro. Like, you can do these things, but where you gonna live at? You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, you gonna go live in a tent? All right. Well, how you gonna wash your butt? You gonna wash it in the river? Oh, okay. You do all of these things. You can get. It's the funny because the things that you try to do to survive, even if you were a minimalist, 
if you try to survive, it's like they want to arrest. It's like they want to lock you up now. Like right. if you try to live for free now, oh, we're gonna arrest you. You can't collect water. You can't wash your buddy, but your booty in the in the lake. You can't take a pee outside. You can't live on this property. You don't own it. You can't just walk around in this neighborhood because you don't live it. You know what I'm saying? So like, then if you get locked up, now you gotta pay to get out of jail. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You know? yeah. So. You, you, you get to this point where it's like, all right, well, we got to do, you know, once you start losing money, you start realizing how hard it is. Then you like, fuck. Like, maybe I really shouldn't have protested like I did, you know? Maybe I shouldn't have been such a hard advocate for the black man, you know? I mean, mm. I should have stayed with those sponsors who gave me Adidas oh, okay. deals and stuff. Oh, okay, you talking know about Kanye, because I was like, I'm, wait a minute. Man. I'm what? bringing it back full circle, yeah. You know, if I was Kanye West and I had billions and I shrunk from billions to millions and now I'm in the thousands and then I go from there, it's like, mm, oh, I, don't I think see where this is going. It could happen though. I mean, it's, 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 it's been tons possible. of people. It's been tons of people who've gone from billions a billion dollars to zero dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like I study these people. You know, but yeah, that's the that's the mug that be committing suicide. Yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. No. It's a and I, and I can understand why because when you start watching your walls collapse around you like you got all of these debt sharks and your family start turning like oh you ain't bringing in no money and you start feeling like irrelevant that you can't do nothing to help your family or you can't contribute and stuff like that and you are not eating right and you know what I'm saying you can't do the things that you're accustomed to doing bro like it's like you the you fail. Yo, yeah. It's a sil- it's a slippery it's a slippery slope, yo. You know, like who wants to go out on the street and sell drugs? That is not a fucking wise option, yo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like if I made it rapping, why the fuck would I want to talk about selling drugs? Like, <laughs> like No, my no. my thing is, my thing is if you were selling drugs and now you made it rapid. Why do you continue to affiliate exactly with the things that you trying to come up from? Yeah, and I don't get the new young artists, and that's why they dying. That's why they get racketeering charges. Like I don't get it. And that kind of goes into the conversation. That goes a little bit into the conversation that me and Kometi had on Dirty Third. Yeah. We talked about how the rapper is now being persecuted for, like, you, but how the judicial system is kind of using their lyrics now to prosecute them, you know, and put them in jail, put them behind bars. If, if Comedic could talk a little bit about that. So, did you, um, Golden, did you you see that documentary called uh, Rap Trap? Have you heard of it? No. It's on Hulu, and it's pretty much talking about the whole, um, uh, young thug gunner situation in Atlanta. Okay. How he's getting hit in that whole 56 page indictment against him and like 38 other people. Right. And they're trying to, they're pretty much trying to paint this picture that YSL, the record label, Young Stoner Life that Young Thug is a part of, is affiliated with the YSL local gang that's in Atlanta. And they're trying to say Young Thug and Gunna are the ring leaders of it, pretty much. And they said that the evidence they have for this is in some of his songs. It sounds like he's talking about the stuff that actually happened. So they're using his lyrics against them. Now, in that Dirty 30, for the listeners, you know, watch it because it's, it's getting ready to come out. By the time you see this, it'll be out. Um, actually, I think it's out now. Um, we we talk deep about this and it's 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 messed up overall but it goes both ways with how how you look at it depending on your viewpoint on it if you sit in up here and and this is what what craig was really saying if you sit up here just spewing all your stuff out on a song why why you why don't you think they're gonna come at you and then deeper than that right. why are you even talking about it you see what I'm saying? So, right. Yeah. It, mm, yeah. It's interesting. It definitely It's is. crazy. Because yeah. I, I, 
correct me if I'm wrong, but the rappers back in the day, they really wasn't about that life. They might have been speaking about somebody they knew and made it seem like it was them. Mm -hmm. Or and they really didn't get into no details about murdering people. Yeah, they never did. But they 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 talked a lot about the situations. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I feel like all these rappers is just BS, man. Like, I feel like maybe more than like 80% of these rappers, what they talk about, 80% of that, they ain't do. Because it, uh, it just doesn't compute. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like when you sitting in class and you throw a pencil and then your teacher turn around and be like, who threw that pencil? You're not about to be like, I was throwing the pencil. I was sitting in the back. I was smacking this girl. <laughs> I was hitting the trap. Like, you're not about to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's real. Like, Come on, mm -hmm. who does that? Who yeah. goes and spray paints a whole wall and then talks about it? Mm -hmm. You don't even know who spray paint buildings that are supposed to be spray painted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Much less the people, much less, much less the buildings that are illegally painted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it, it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense, but we all, like, at least I know, where all of this motivated uh uh angry rap comes from dog like this shit is all engineered yeah. to paint us to be a certain way and to also um to paint us to be a certain way and also to motivate others to think like oh this the way to go or oh, i'm doing this mm -hmm. that and to drive up sales for that for that bottom line so and let me so ask you all they're doing is uh, all they doing is copying and pasting. Tupac, Biggie was like, Tupac, Biggie, and anybody before that who was on that gangster shit, NWA, it's kind of like, they like the layout, right? They copied all that image. They do away with all the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? All the positivity, all the positive stuff that these rappers could have ever talked about. They try to do away with all that, right? Mm -hmm. And then they take all the highlighted stuff that they know made sales, like, come with me. You know, Mary nigga, that kind, that kind of shit, right? They incorporated with some of that Biggie stuff that Biggie was talking about. I don't want to go to heaven. I want to chill in hell with the, you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, whatever that lyric was. He want to go to hell. He don't want to hang with the goody goodies and shit. Yeah. Shit like that. Incorporate all that shit. Bang, bang, shoot him up. Fuck the police. All that kind of stuff. Then they plaster it on one of these young kids that's, you know, highly influenceable. Paint it all over their face. And then send them out there to rap about the shit because they know the white kids like that crazy, mm -hmm. devilish, hellish shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And those are the people that are going to go see their shows. You see That's what I'm true. saying? Yeah. So black people is not paying to go paying a thousand dollars to go see no Beyonce. <laughs> Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Free man. Yeah, I'm talking about as far as the ratio is concerned. When you look at them kids in the front of her crowd, is they black? I mean, they may be white like, in the front, the but they majority. black. They black in the back, man. They, <laughs> they, in the back. In the back they, they black in the back, bro. They black, but the vast the majority of them people, still the mm -hmm. vast majority of them people that's paying top dollar to see this lady perform. I cannot say that they're black, dog. I tell you like this. Even on her coming she, home, she too. ready to. Uh, she can ready to do another tour, right? A lot mm -hmm. of these girls I talked to, they said they got their tickets ready, man. They got right. their tickets ready, and they paid like that, a minimum not, of six hundred dollars. But that doesn't even hit the percentage of people that's going to be there. You got to think yeah. about this shit on a broad scale. Mm -hmm. When you look at the front of the crowd. It. And you I see, think you're using the wrong artist to make your point. No, no, I'm, I'm making a valid point because when you when you look at her videos, you look at her shows, and you see the camera fly by the audience, and you look at the audience, you like, damn. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh. It's surprisingly how small how small that group of black people is. It's, it's it, you might have a lot of homosexuals. I would say, then please don't come after me because we. I mean, if you're gay and you like Beyonce, who cares? You know what I'm saying? But, but it's some homosexuals in there. It, but in the front of the audience, are you seeing a, a high volume of black kids? Man, I, or are you seeing other cultures? We would have to we have to look at it. Yeah. But from what I've seen, now, what I've seen, I ain't seeing a whole bunch of black kids in that joint. 
Now, I can't speak on Beyonce, but I can speak on other um, rap artists. Yeah, they definitely are majority uh, white audience. And they know the word, word for word. Mm -hmm. Mm. So with that, let me ask y'all this then. What do y'all feel like? Because both of y'all said a lot. What do y'all feel the overall, how do you feel about the state of the economy right now? How do you, how do you, not even the state of the economy, how do you feel about the state of, how do you feel about the U.S. right now as we speaking? With your president all the way down to every little sector of how the U.S. is actually created. How do you feel overall about it? Uh, I don't even know how to feel. I just know that there is a whole bunch of crazy stuff going on from from um, drone balloons to the price of eggs to them not wanting to pay our student, I mean, forgive our student loans to uh, it's just so much. Like, it's just crazy. Oh, giving billions of dollars to um, Ukraine. Um, I just, uh, I don't, I don't get any of it. You got, Why are you trying to laugh and cry? <laughs> the fucking government is so goddamn stupid, man. Like, and then our president is like it's funny. a thousand years old, falling asleep on camera and forgetting who he is and all that. It's all a dog and pony show. Like, dog, like, I don't even... I don't even care what the president has to say anymore at this point. Because it ain't about what he got to say. It ain't about what he got to say. It ain't about what he about to do because he ain't got no, he ain't got no power no, to do nothing. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like he can say stuff, but that's just for the TV show. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's all for people to talk about and be misalluded to to small issues that don't even count. Like we talking about balloons. Who the f in 2023 is using balloons to spy on people? Come on now. They looking at you right now through your computer. What did they need a balloon for? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they got TikTok, they got Instagram, they got Facebook. They nobody's using the balloon to spy on you. Y'all are stupid. Like, come on. And then we're gonna shoot it out the sky. Like all I when I hear stuff like that, all I see is a bunch of like, I'm gonna say old school white people. From mm-hmm. like the time of like uh uh, uh what was the president that got assassinated? J- J- oh, wow. JF <laughs> Kennedy with, uh. with their blue shirts tucked into their brown pants and they got their little uh sniper rifles like they hunting and they like trying to shoot down this one black guy. That's all I see. It's just a bunch of dumb stuff. Yeah. Like we shooting down balloons. Bruh, come on now. Y'all could have used the EMP and get that thing out the sky. Come on, dog. Let's not play these games. But that whole thing is to drive you away from the fact that inflation is keep going in up, that that uh, Jerome Powell is continuously uh, 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 battling this whole inflation thing. We can't get control of it because the consumer has way too much buying power, apparently, because they printed out too much money. Of course, they're giving away billions of dollars to Russia because why? Oh, if we run out of money, we can just go back to Jerome Powell and print some more money, which will happen. It's going to increase inflation even more. So for the listener, the dollar who, up. Pray. For the listener, who, who, who is Jerome Powell? Jerome Powell is the president of the Federal Reserve. Mm-hmm. So he's basically, the United, if the United States had a bank, it'd be the Federal Reserve and... The federal, the federal Reserve's president, the person who, the CEO, if that's how you want to look at it, would be him. You know what I'm saying? So he pretty much tries to get inflate. He pretty much is in charge of uh, increasing uh, inflation or de- uh, decreasing inflation to try to get control of the economies of uh, buying and purchasing power and shit like that. And the way that he uses, the, the way that he uses. The way that he gets it up or down is by manipulating or, or increasing rates so that it either decreases the demand or increases the ma- demand of what we purchase. Mm-hmm. That has a direct effect on how much money we can spend, how much money we can't spend. It has a direct effect on housing sales. It has a re- direct effect on jobs. Right now, he's trying to get you to lose your job. That's their goal. Their goal is to get you to lose your job. 
so that they can get demand down by decreasing how many people have money to spend on purchasing shit like Michael Jordan's tennis shoes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We should stop doing that any damn way, but okay. You purchasing shoes, Jordans, computers, cell phones, cars, Teslas, all of that type of stuff is what's driving the economy's wages out of control. You know what I'm saying? And this, you have all of these different terminologies like spiral inflation and all these yeah. different things. People don't understand that given the certain circumstances that we're in right now, we're in a recession and we don't even really know it. And they don't even know when they're going to announce the true start or end of the recession. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're still talking about it as if it ain't happened yet. Mm. Oh, there's a chance that we could avoid recession. So they... <laughs> <laughs> it's happening right now. So it's like, oh, there's a chance that it's not a chance that we could avoid recession. It's a chance that we can hide it before anybody knows that it happened. Before mommy get home. <laughs> you know, so to all the listeners out there, if you feel like all of a sudden everybody is kind of having it hard on money right now and it's like people losing their jobs and people are going through a bunch of struggle, that's why. Mm-hmm. Cause for years we just sit around, we be like, man, it just seemed like everybody just hard. It's just hard for everybody right now. And you start hearing all these conversations about, man, I'm just trying to find a way to get money, and I'm just trying to find a way to hold on to my dollar and the price of eggs and all of this and all of that. That's why they're intentionally making it hard for you. You know what I'm saying? But we we over here talking about balloons and shit. Like <laughs> we talking about Russia in a in, in a whole war. Like, come on, bro. Like well, but see, this don't is even un- that, this is the stuff that I was talking about before. When it comes to just the morality and the ethics and stuff, I don't I don't believe that you can ever really truly have ethics and politics or morals and politics. It's, it's just, I don't, I don't, it's a fucked up game. Because that's a fucked up game they're playing. You see what I'm saying? And it's, it's effed up because they got to play it the way they got it, the, the way exactly. they're playing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they done already screwed it up so much just in the past to just trying to trying to get on top. Mm-hmm. And it also you know is effed up because this stuff don't really affect them because they're going to be straight regardless. Right. Well, it does affect them. It just don't affect them like it affects us. Right. Mm-hmm. The only reason it affects them is because if they ain't got nobody buying their products, now, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If they don't have anybody buying into their bull, they can't make any sales. They can't make they can't make moves and do what it is that they want to do on the back end. Mm-hmm. So it, it's just a bunch of stuff. Like you got the, the American government right now is at odds with China. Mm-hmm. You know, and you know China yeah. and, and Russia, they they got their little team stacked up or whatever. And now they got uh, is it is it out uh, Iran or whoever? I don't know. Some of them, you know, Middle Eastern. Now I guess the Middle Eastern trying to align themselves with them. You know, I think it and is. Like we got we having this whole power struggle, and now like they pushing the prices of oil up, and you see us trying to move over to electric. The crazy thing about electric, and you know what's interesting? Every time I talk to people about electric vehicles and stuff like that, they're like, oh, it could never last, and there's all of these different reasons, and woo, 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 right? Mm. Bro, they've been trying to work on electric cars. People have been building electric cars since, I want to say, Egypt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, people have been working on electric vehicles way before you can even imagine. Like, Porsche, I think they Porsche was the first known, unknown individual to actually have an electric car. Mm. You know? Yeah. Nobody knows that. <laughs> but you know what happened with that? That whole tobacco with, uh, what's his name? Uh, Hitler. Yeah. When Hitler got him, when Hitler, when Hitler got in there, he he wasn't able to produce electric vehicles because Hitler wanted him to start building tanks. So they were building electric tanks. Wow. But nobody knew that. And then once Hitler got taken out of his power or whatever like that, he got locked up. His son took over the company 
and uh, start making a new car just to get him out of prison. And then something happened there on Fort Knox, and they stopped building the electric and car. And they started making Volkswagens, right? We commissioned the Volkswagen Beetle. Yeah, he designed the Volkswagen, but it wasn't under Porsche. It was that was a whole another. Yeah, that was. The, it was on the Volkswagen. That was before. And then that. Volkswagen. It's funny because Volkswagen went back and bought him, but well, bought their company. That's crazy. So. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't know, man. This is I don't know. I just think about the whole state of it all. Just where we at? I think everything is on like information overload with people, and we don't know. As a, when I say we, I'm saying we as a people just don't even know what the, where to look. You got over here, you talking about UFOs. Over here, you talking about spy balloons, and then we looking at it's, it's, um, it's just, but but yeah. I just can't. It just it's so many issues out here, and I feel like they're throwing everything in your face for a reason to keep you from really looking at what the true issue is. But it's just it's it's confusing so many people to the fact that they're just like you know what fuck it I'm just not even gonna be concerned. And right. I, that's the end game of it all. That's what we right. Want. That is it. That's how you get the control. Yeah. yeah. Because if you got I want a whole you bunch to get of people, tired of what I'm showing you, because what I'm showing yeah. you is the true issue. But if I keep throwing this stuff in your face and you can't get over this wall, you're gonna say fuck it eventually and walk away. You're gonna quit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then I, everything you do after that is is, is of my control. Yeah. Because of people that are unutified or con- are highly controllable. Yeah. So you know, know, you got you got China op- had open back up, so that's that's driving the world money thing crazy. So we're gonna see what kind of effect that has on our economy. Because now we having issues with them, which we've been having issues with them since Trump. Yeah, we have. <clears throat> and yeah. that, you know, that whole distribution and demand issue mm-hmm. with the boats and the ships and all of that stuff, it's just, yeah. it's just one crazy tobacco. So, you know, yeah. these people sit in their office and they talk, these people sit in these offices and they sit behind the cameras and they don't have a care in the world, but we the ones who are feeling it and we don't understand why. And I'm like, y'all... Y'all don't want to pay attention to it, right? But, like, once you open your eyes, you can't just close them. Because, like, then, because you, okay, this is the thing. We get scared to open our eyes because we don't want to see what's in front of us, right? But if we take a second to peep and see what's in front of us, then we don't want to close our eyes because we're afraid that if we close them, we don't want to, we, we're not going to know what we're going to run into. Mm. You know? And so, fear is obsolete at this point. Yeah, that's what we just said. You gotta, you gotta get, you we gotta get focused, dog. All of these top dances and rap and music and all this stuff, dog. It's it's a rap for that. We have to get focused, dog. We you feel like not, that's gonna happen, though. You can no, say it. I feel like that's gonna happen, though. I don't feel like it's gonna happen, but dog, and for a long, long time. What do you feel like because, has to happen people? Because, you know, people are reactive. They ain't proactive. But bruh, what has to happen, you think, is to, to get A people. catastrophic worldwide fucking war. Mm. Where both, where every side, where it ain't no sides. Everybody just attacking whoever. Because we can't focus. Every time we start getting focused, some, something new come up. Oh, now we got to have litter boxes in the bathroom because kids want to be, no, be recognized as cats. And if you can't recognize a kid as a cat, then you're going to get fired. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, we're we recognizing children as cats now? We got litter boxes in the bathroom? Mm. People are getting fired for that, dog. Mm-hmm. You can't even make a valid, <laughs> a valid court case on that. Like, what grounds do you have to protect yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You know, we got all of this sex stuff. Like, I want to, he want to be a girl. If he can't be known known as a day, then now we got to have a whole, he got to be canceled. What? (laughs) Yeah. You know, this thing. This person's son wants to be a girl. This person's daughter wants to be a guy. This de- their kid wants to be a they, and this lady wants kid want to be a cat. <laughs> what are we doing? Mm-hmm. 
Cats don't work, guys. They don't go to school. <laughs> don't put that idea in their head. <laughs> that would be my only argument. I would, if I had to go to court, I'd be like, dog, okay, you got me in court because I ain't called this kid a cat, right? But cats don't go to school. No school they learn. So why is he in my class? Or why is, why is it in my class? <laughs> Court, court case don't put done. that out there. They'll be at home collecting um uh welfare checks at um SSI. <laughs> yeah. give, give me my five million because give me my five million because I got heartache and pain. Now I got complications with my brain because I can't recognize what's a person and what's not anymore. Wow. So now I can't go to work. I can't go to work because I don't know what's a real person and what's not. So I need five million to sustain a, a healthy lifestyle in order for me to survive. Mm. I'm not calling nobody a cat dog. That doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what they choose to be called. You should recognize them as that. <laughs> but how how insane does that? But that like, what does that do to my mental? Yeah. Because now I feel crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because this whole time, I come out the vagina of a human being, and you come out the vagina of a human being, but we both recognize that something completely different mm. now now my logic is like wait <laughs> like mm-hmm. what yeah now I feel like I feel like the person that's being attacked <laughs> nobody has any nobody cares about this person's like mental you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. compatibility like Wow. And how yeah. was your kid is supposed to sustain a healthy lifestyle if they're going around recognizing themselves as a cat? Like, what kind of job do you work? Are you on? Are you on phone calls? <laughs> are you on where? Phone calls. <laughs> because now it's like, well, if I call this person, do they meow or do I meow or do we talk? It's like, hey. I don't know. Meow, 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 meow. Because that whole rabbit hole can just keep going, you know? I don't... Right. And we talked about this at work not too long ago. How far does this rabbit hole go? But we all know what the end goal is. Mm. Y'all know what it is? What's the end goal? Pedophilia. Wow. Yeah. They want to legalize pedophilia, dog. Mm. What you know what is just so crazy that every day is every day I scroll down my newsfeed and some weirdo has either exposed the stuff to kids or touched the kid and they always work in school system or at a theme park or somewhere where the kids is at. What's just so crazy? It's just sick, man. It's pedophilia. It is. Just like the, okay. that couple, that um, that that um, gay couple that adopted those kids yeah. just to rape them and put them in the sex trade. Yeah. Yeah. Because now it's like, now it's like if a kid is old enough to have a sex change, why they not old enough to have sex? That's just crazy. Not it? not that I'm saying that for mm. whoever out there trying to cancel me. <laughs> but no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just for those people who like to do stuff with little kids and weird stuff with cats. That's it. Ah oh, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. So when it, that's where we at. That's with us being faced with that right now. How do you prepare yourself for the future? From the economy looking the way it's looking. How do you but, prepare uh, yourself for society? The, the society looking the way it is. What can you do, or what what do you think you should do to prepare for yourself for the next five years? What do What do you do? How can you answer that question? What do I do? Yeah, because you I ain't hear you answer a question yet. I want to <laughs> hear what you got to say. You asking all these questions. I want I want to hear you answer that. So. It's a lot of shit, man. All the best thing I can do right now is pretty much protect my castle, yo. And that's financially, that's physically, that's in every every way, shape, or form. So that's 
that's kind of how I do it. Now, all I can do in addition to that is just look and see how things are going and act accordingly. So I always say that's probably the best method to do it. Just watch and prepare like a freaking owl. And then when things start looking a certain type of way, then you pivot. That's how I see it. You know, when it comes to the finances, looking at the state of the economy, if you know, like you just said, a recession is going to happen, why not be prepared now? We know people, because it's not, this is, and, and I, I, I read this not too long ago. This is going to be the most publicized recession that's going to occur. Everybody knows once it's coming. We Everybody knows that it's getting ready to come. If not, if, if not it's already here. So it is already are, here. <laughs> that's the thing. Why? That's the thing. But that's what I'm saying. Why is nobody getting prepared for that? It's time to get prepared if you know it's coming. We've been through this shit before. Many you times. Know what to do to be prepared, you just gotta get prepared. So that's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm doing. This is yeah. I'm just putting my plan in motion. This is something I already been working on for the last four years. That was since COVID, so that should have been the wake up call for everybody from the jump to know that shit is coming. And for a second, I say it did. People were starting to look at other means of getting money, you know, entrepreneurship, not really focusing on, you know, fulfilling somebody else's dream. And then it just, I don't know, from there it just went back into line like sheep, man. Back to sleep. Yeah, once we could go back outside. Yeah, it's like I don't get it. I don't get it. But that's I ain't why they had to it. open it. That's that's why they had to open up too quick. People was getting too creative. Yeah, yeah, they didn't expect that shit. But, but mm, I um, um, Golden, you want to answer that question? What um, what am I gonna do to prepare? Um, just like um, commit say just roll with the punches. He was going on because, you know, I ain't got no brain saved up. So it is what it is. Mm. I feel you. Roll with the punches. What you got? What I say is, if you just right now under realizing what's going on. It's a little, it's a little, you, you, you behind. You know what I'm saying? You got to go study. First of all, you got to get focused, dog. Anybody, everybody got to get focused. And the best way to finish out with a fight with a possible win is just don't fall <clears throat> and don't give up just because you're getting punched all in the face and you don't understand why. You know what I'm saying? Find, fight your way to some type of safety. And once you get there, get figure out a game plan. Get focused. Put all that other bull crap to the side. Put it away. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no time for that. All that Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. If it ain't got nothing, if it's not conducive to to your self rectification of being destroyed, you know what I'm saying? It, it's irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? You got to start from where you at. Like right now, we starting from where we at. We didn't have an education when we was. <laughs> In elementary school and teenagers, but we got we got the resources now. So you got the internet. Use that to your advantage. You know what I'm saying? And build yourself out a plan. If you ain't got no money saved up, find a way to save up at least five percent of what you make. Every you know what I'm saying? Every paycheck. You know, it should be ten percent. You know what I'm saying? But at least five percent, goddamn. You know, <laughs> you know, if you don't pay yourself at all and your money is only going to people who you don't know like what are you doing you gotta at least five percent it needed to be ten percent it needed to be more than that but if if that's all you can do just save up and then put your bread somewhere where you know it can grow if you don't know where those places are you need to research don't be sitting up here asking people oh where can i no you need to get on the internet just like you be typing in those tiktok videos and all that other stuff you need to go research because people talk about this all the time. And it don't matter if you're black, Asian, white, it's people that look just like you talking about these things, mm. you know? 
So if you feel like you don't have nobody you can trust, then you just need to just find at least three people who are talking about the same things and run with it and then and then try to build out from there. Learn as much as you can about past recessions to learn what it is that you need to do for this recession. You know, try to find different ways of income. They say that about six in, six forms six forms of income is is a sustainable lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? If not even better. So whatever whatever forms of income you can do, if you can if you gotta work your job and then you gotta drive and then you got like some stocks and then you got <clears throat> some other form of passive income like you selling stuff online and you ain't got to be there or you own a business or you take pictures whatever that's an income put that joint somewhere and find a hustle and just wait and and focus man like we ain't focused we not focused all we want to do is laugh all we want to do is laugh drink smoke weed chill all the time and stuff it's it's over for that you know you want to chill and you want to relax you need to focus right now go hard go hard in the beginning and then when you get to that point where you can chill then you know you chill a little bit but right now we can't we, we can't chill because we hurting straight up yeah well you didn't hurt it out of cream but is that going to be the case i highly For doubt some. What's on? What's on? Yeah, yeah. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be a lot more people to to thrive and survive than you think. But are they going to be us? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm scared of that. Yeah. I'm scared. I'm very scared of that because I don't have all the answers. <clears throat> but damn it, if I ain't no guy that going to survive it, I'm not going to be out here just getting shot up or drowned or poor laying on the white street. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to survive. So if you're rolling with me, you better plan on surviving. You better bring every tool you got because we working over here. You know what I'm saying? So got to be focused, dog. Yeah, that's the truth. Hey, with that being said, this is your boy, Comedic Energy. Your girl, Golden. Your boy, Cray. Hey, and we out. Peace out, people. This show is produced by Livewire Sound and Entertainment. If you're looking to rent premium sound equipment for your next concert or podcast at a low price, go to www.livewiresoundent.com. Duty Mouth Radio.